Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Denda. Hey, Jane. Nia. I'm Thomas Tanga Jane. Let's go, go, go. On the adventure with Thomas. Let's go, go. Nia, Jane, and Nate as well. Let's go, go, go. See what they're doing. So cool to see what adventure they have. Thomas is great as adventure. Thomas, James, Nia, and Flo Construction Crew, and Ace. Well, since Race is only here for the Valley Race, Thomas, James, Nia, and Flo Construction Crew were here in Italy to do a special job. And as James, you friends like to, to say, say, which is Gina, Italy is the it's the Jima. Huh. A Jima means beautiful. And James had to agree on 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 Gina's opinion. There was beautiful scenery as well as beautiful beaches. As well as some old but interesting buildings. Just then they were coming up to a building that was leaning on its side. Huh? What's this? said James. This is this is the famed Muslim Tower of Pisa. Oh, said James. Oh, and something also special up ahead as well. Ooh, I said James. And here we are in Rome, said Gina. Our capital city. Wow, said James. It's, your, this town is so huge. It drew be a crown, said Gina. Wow, said James. Some say all tracks lead to Rome. Just then, James noticed a big, huge building that kind of looks like it was being built. What are building now? asked James. Gina chuckled. They're not building, she said as they stopped at a signal. If they're not building, what, are, what is it then? said James. You have a lot to learn, said Gina. That is called Shea. It was built over a thousand years ago. Emperor, there were a whole lot of races with dreaming crowds. In those Roman chariots, said Gina proudly. Wow, said James. That sounds really awesome. Just imagine that, James, said Gina. Oh, I wish. But we haven't got time for that, though, said Gina. We gotta get to the station. True, said Gina. The six are turned green, and the two engines puffed away. As they were puffing in to the station, Jane was thinking about finding the lost engine again. Gina came to a halt, but James didn't, as James always shut the platform, thinking of the lost engine. James! said Gina. Stop! Your patches us! James put on his brakes. Oopsie daisy, he said. Sorry. Luckily, there was no complaint for the patches as they got off the coaches while others got on. Then James noticed the statues coming, coming out, out of Gina's trucks. Oh no, said James. The statue that you were carrying had broken. You must have been during the journey, said James, growing. Gina chuckled. Oh, James. Don't. Don't worry, she said. It was so sweet, these things, said Gina. These are all. Oh, you see them. Because they're so. Oh, I am not sweet, said James, being angry. And I know about the egg. Oh, bother, said James. Ecology, said Gina. It's well, but experts dig up some old things from the past. Learn about our history, said Jim proudly. 
In Italy, we have discovered some amazing coconut arts and buildings, said Gina. This made James a bit jealous. I have lot, I have seen lots of amazing buildings in my time as well, said James Watson. Like a few coffins or so or or even the mainland, or even places I've been around the world with my friends. And even Vicar Sound Station is a what was it called again? Oh yeah, Bellissima, said James. Like my shiny red paint. So I'm a bit of an expert myself, Gina, said James. James proudly. And some of your art building look unfinished, said James cheekily. They are not unfinished, said Gina. They're this old. Huh! As she, as she made as she blew the steam and she made a red cheek as James red paint. Thus then, Leah that Thomas met when he was in Italy, it came up. But, ah, Gina, I got a special job for you. A special job? said James. I I can help with it. He said. Gina chuckled. James, meet Mia. She, she's the Museum of Archaeology, said Gina. Cool, said James. What's the job anyways? asked James. Before, before Mia can speak, Gina decided to guess, decided, decided to talk back at James. Mia, James knows everything about archaeology and all that stuff. He's a good expert at it, said Jean. I waited like he was trying to get a bit of payback at James. Well, said Samia, I'm a Winston on an expert, but I don't know everything, you know, she said. There are all, there's, there's all you think to learn, she said. Don't you think so, James, said Mia. Of course. Said James. Thus then, Garbo's whispered James train. Oh, a go, go. Nice meet you, Mia. See you later, Gina. As James puffed away. On his journey, he passed some more beautiful scenic sights of Italy. And and Mia was correct. Back to Jane, but there's so many and there's a lot of things to learn. I want to just see now about the last engine, said James finally. Oh well, at least, at least I, I could be able to fight him. One day I will, and James continued his journey. And the more James learned, the work, the more he learned. He stopped the next season, dropping off some pastures. No, no, and there was a Space Master or God with him. Joe James said, said, he said. Ow, oh, said James. Soon the passengers got off the coaches. Gracias, James, they all said. Oh, welcome. Gracia, gracia. Thanks, said James. Soon James was leaving the platform. Hi, everyone. Ciao, James. Just then James put on his brakes. Huh? I, I told Charm meant hello. In Italy, Charm means hello and goodbye, said the man. Ciao. Ah, Thomas never told me that when he was in Italy. But I asked him about that, said James. Anyways, ciao, said James, and James puffed away. On James' journey, he began to feel he was an actual real expert. On James' journey, he was going up sort of a mountain line, and he saw me see Gino with the down at the crush at the corruption site they were at yesterday on the tour. But James couldn't see something. Not right. Why aren't you stopped down there? said James. Jane had a feeling she broke down. She must have been broken down, and James put on full speed. 
Hang on, Gina. I'm coming, said James. Soon, James arrived. Gina was down there with Esther in the pack. So she came and looked. So James came in. Don't worry, Gina. I've got you. Until James realized what was going on. Oh, said James. Sorry. Never mind, said Gina. Thomas was like that. Hmm. I, I think he told me that once. Said. Said James. Still. Said Gina. So, anyways, ask James. This is your important job, is it? Ask James when doing. Breaking bubble. Ask James when doing. This made Gina cross as she she rose steam again and a red cheek on her like James' paintwork. It's not rubble, James, said Gina crossly. That's all right, James, said Esther. Gina kind of does this sometimes. Anyways, ciao. Gina has been telling me about you earlier on today. Oh, really? said James. Yeah. Anyways, since you were writing, since you were on about, you know, everything, do you know everything what's going on here? Said Esther. Ah, said said James, as he saw the work on his doing to work, as well as the pack for helping. But the the sites I've been to are much more bigger. Oh, here we go, said Gina, with much more extra vehicles, even bigger buildings, even more people, and they don't use also materials all the time, like. Oh, James, said Gina. Everybody just does it a different way, you know. True, well, said James. But, for my opinion on this, it kind of looks like you're digging a hole. Esther laughed. Oh, James, we are digging a hole. Oh, said James. We're getting ready for you museum to be built here soon. But the workers are thrown down to through the archaeology. Oh, James knows about that, said Gina. Definitely, said James happily. Definitely, said James again. Arca, Arca, Baba Queen. Say it again, said James. Archaeology, said Gina. James is an expert at this, said Gina. Just then, James noticed. To these two men find some 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 coins. Jane was surprised by this. Wow, he said. Kane, dig more faster. There could be a pirate ship down there. Like 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 what we did back on solo one time. Oh really, what was that? Um I think I might tell you back at the sheds. Tell about that, said James. True. Esther. Oh, come on, said James. Dig faster. Dig faster. Esther laughed. Oh, James, you you sound like the loss engine. Oh, he does, said, said Gina. You mean, you mean not the, the one Stefano told me and the others, or is it the Lorenzo or Pepe? Oh, the one Stefano told you about. I'm gonna be like, like those two, said James. Not even female. Anyways, said James. Since I'm on the quest to find them, do you know anything about them? Not now, James, said Gina. We got some work to do, but like you said earlier. Come on, said James. You gotta know something about it. Don't your passes have to be somewhere? James notices his passages. Oh, sorry about that, said James. I was looking at the Akira, Akira. It says some, some, some little detour, said James. James, and then James turned to Gina. Come on, Gina, you gotta know something about, about the Lost Engine. Come on. The Lost Engine is just, just a random engine to, to 
got lost a long time ago. Somebody that I I know, including like the words of Pepe or Thomas or whatever, said Jean. Just then, Jean was puffing out of the way. They were going the wrong way. This made Gina cross. James, why are you going the wrong way? She said crossly. I'm not, said, said Jane, snap, snap back. And I know what I'm doing. These tracks are very twisty, you know, said Gina. I've been on one of these few times, said James. Whoa, said James. These are like spaghetti, said, said James. Jane had... Gina had no time to complain more as she puffed away. A few seconds later, James puffed up beside her. You're still going the wrong way, said Gina crossly. This James This made James even more cross. No wonder Ross and Jane and Roger Pepe got lost. Lost on these twisty tracks, he said. This railway is silly, said James. This made Gina cross. No, it's not. You're silly. I'm not, not silly, said James. You are. What? said Gina. And Gina made a red chicken and blow steam. Look, you, Gina. You keep puffing and puffing. One of these days, you're going to bust your safety valve, said James. I do not puff and puff, and I won't blow my safety valve. You think you're an expert, but you're not, said Gina crossly. This made James even more cross. And I'm not going to let Gina beat him. And you better be careful, said Gina, or else you're going to lost engine. If you do get lost, I won't find you. And Gina puffed away. That green tank engine, said James crossly. Bossy engine she is. Huh. What well, she she told me the weirdest tank that I ever met. I don't know why why Thomas likes her. So there were some points and Gina went on her way and James James went down on the other track. Soon James arrived at the next station. It was a station that he and Gina that and Mia were at early on. Mia was there. Hello again, James, she said. I'm, I'm looking for Gina. Have you seen her? No, said James. He's still been mad at Gina earlier on. I think she's still doing some work at the site. Why you ask? Well, I, I needed to go to meet Stefano at the seaside station, whatever it's called. I can do that job, said James. Oh, I'm not sure. The tracks are a bit Twisty and bendy, you know. Huh, said James. If Thomas did, so can I. But you're a tender engine, it could be much more danger. Stuff and nonsense, said James. I can do it. Come on. You don't want to be delayed, and or else Steph will be delayed. Well, okay then. You better drop off your coaches, though. Don't worry, I will, said James. See you later. And and James puffed away to the to the to the, into the shooting yards. Soon, James arrived at the yards. He uncovered the coaches, and then buffed up to the trucks, aka flatbeds. And James puffed away. Soon, James James was near near. He was out. It was on the mountain coast. Wow! Said James. It looks very steep, but if Thomas did it, so can I. And James continued on. Whoa, said James. It was steep and bendy, but James managed to get there. Phew, said James. He made it at last, as James rolled onto the siding. As he came to a halt, he saw Stephanie in the distance. Wait, said James. That looks right. Stefano's coming towards me. He could crash. Stefano, look out! As James blew his whistle, 
Strong up said Jane as Jane blows Woodsworth as hard as he can to get Stefano to stop. But instead of crashing, Stefano you know, came onto the beach. Ciao, James. Ah? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you surprised I can go on beaches? Wait, you can go on beaches? Why, oh, yes, I can, Mr. Stefano. Jane was surprised by this. Wow, that's cool. Anyways, I'm here for the crates. Ah, uh, yes, the crates. So, Stefano got them unloaded. Any luck finding the lost engine yet? Asked Stefano. Not yet, said James. I didn't get a chance to yet, though. I was thinking about it. Do you know any places that lost engine could be hiding at? Not really. It can't be the same mine that the first lost engine that Thomas found. So it must be at some different mine. True, said James. Oh well. I better get going anyways. Anyways, see you later. See you later, Stefano. Soon, Stefano left as he went back into the sea as James puffed away with the crates. Man, said James, that Stefano fella is really amazing. And I'm sure he's right back to the lost engine. But on James' journey, he got hurt a bit to feel bad for the lost engine. I feel quite bad for the lost engine, said James. I would hate it if I was the lost engine. But never mind. At least we're not lost at the moment. But Jane was wrong. Huh? That's strange. Where am I? Jane was on a mainland, but in the middle of nowhere. Oh no, said James. I'm lost again. I should have gone up the twisty tracks, but James went backwards a little bit. Just then. James knew what Gina said about earlier. She's right. I am going to be the next lost engine. Then he noticed something else, but she also said earlier. Wait a minute. She also said that all tracks each foam. So maybe the track I'm on can lead me to the museum. It has to, said James, as James puffed away. Meanwhile, Gina finished her job. Hopped into the station where, where, where they were earlier. Gina, have you seen James? He went down down to, down to the beach with Stefano to pick up some crate at the museum, but he hasn't been back yet. James went down to the beach to miss Stefano. Oh no, said, said Gina. Those tracks are, are twisty. James doesn't know those lines. Well, since we, we did give him a tour of it yesterday with friends, but he doesn't know those lines very well. Gina quite felt bad what he said earlier to James, and puffed off to go and find him. Meanwhile, James was still in nowhere. He was getting tired of this. This track is going on forever, he said. I need to get these cars back to the scene. See, before they realized I went the wrong way, he said. Just then, James stopped. Ah, uh, he said. Jane noticed a sign on, on an old track which says the letter M, which stands for the museum, and one of the words that start with M. Aha, uh -huh, said James. There it is, the museum. James Bymer switched the points. He got back on James Puff on. Although, it doesn't really look like a museum, said James. James continues his journey. James has seen, seen a red sign which means stop. However, it was because of the reason that the sign was broken and fallen off. That's why James didn't see it, like how Thomas didn't see it. Meanwhile, Gina was still looking for James. Oh, James, where are you? She said. She checked the, the B station where James met Stefano, but James was not there. Or even Stefano. Meanwhile, James was still down, down at the sort of a mountain mine. It was very dark. He hit a lock. Whoa, said James. There was an owl as well. 
bit of knock bite, said James. And so he sort of points. Hmm, said James. I suppose we better go straight. As James puffed on, as James went through the mine. As James went through to the old mine, and he stopped. Inside, and then he remembered the lost engine. I wonder, he said quietly. And then he shouted, Hello, said James. Hello, hello, hello. Someone's there, said James. They're probably on the way out. They're probably on the way out to the museum. Hello, are you lost? said James. Until lost, lost. <gasps> the lost engine, said James. Hang on, said James. I'm coming to help. Help! Help! said the voice. Jim was doing. was trying to be brave until there was a dead end and he put on his brakes. Whoa! said James. Then the dead end track broke him. Oh no! said James. I have to go back, he said. I'm sorry, Lost Engine. I have to go back. There's, there's a broken track. I'll go and get help. Come back, come back," said said the said the voice. But James, voice was that went back. However, outside of the mine, Gina was outside as she heard the whistle. She stopped. That can't be James whistle, can it? Oh no! Please tell me he's gone down the old mine," she said. Gina had no choice, went down, went over the points, as Gina bravely went down the old mine. And Jane was coming out of the tunnel. James! said Gina. Oh no! said James. The two engines were going at high speed, and they put, put, put the brakes on, but it was too late. Oh! Gina came off, off the rails, and Jane bumped her. Really hard. Trucks in the problems. James, you locked me off the tracks, said Gina. My eggs are jammed and I can't get back on the rails. I'm so sorry, Gina, said James. I was I went down the wrong line and then I thought I heard the lost engine. Oh seriously, James, the lost engine this time. James James Crook backed up. Gina's fireman driver found a chains and, and, and chained them up. But as they were doing it, a lot of rocks keep falling like, down on them. And you should have gone down this way, said James. This side is closed. I'm sorry, said James. I told that sign me it was the museum. Sent for to mine any museum stuff with an M, though. As they were puffing back, but a huge rock fell behind Gina and blocked it and blocked them off. Stop, James, she said. This path is blocked. We have to go forward, she said. Okay, said James. I'm going, as they went on. Just then, James noticed another sign. Look, it's a museum sign, he said. Until they came up to the points. Quickly, change it. James finally quickly changed the points. Soon it was changed. Got back on, and the two engines puffed away. The rocks fell faster and faster, and James and Gina had no choice. The two engines put on high speed, and the two of them went fast as they can. Just then, dust, dust were all that's left, until James and Gina came out of the mines. Away, said James, we did it. Soon they came to a stop. Phew, we made it, said James. You're safe now, Gina. I reckon you. Gina got, got so cross and the crosser she ever had in her life. <gasps> James, what were you thinking going down that line? And why do you think you rescued me? Because I did, right? No, I had to go 
upon what's to you? You had my words and loss. This made James James angry. Well, I know who was lost. It wasn't me, said Gina. It wasn't you, said James crossly. It was the lost engine. I heard him calling for help. Help, help, he said. Oh, James, said Gina. That must have been your echo. Oh, said James. Why did I not realize this? Now you made us delayed, said Gina crossly. With that, two engines puffed away. On the journey, the two engines didn't speak until Gina broke the silence. So, James, are we going to go down another mine, are we? James was a bit puzzled by this. What are you on about? We're heading to the museum, aren't we? Yes, said Gina. But surely there's some few mines you want to go to next. James knew what she was on about. It was about earlier on. We're not going down any mines, Gina. Yeah. Yes, I do want to find the lost engine, but I can't do that right now. Oh, don't worry, James. How about you get lost instead, and maybe me or any of the others can go find the lost engine? Or how about where Thomas go find the lost engine? Since he's number one. Yeah, he was very good at it. So why not by him? He could be the S number. Gina went too far with James. James had it enough. That's it, Gina, said James. I had it with you. You you have talked to me so rude, you bossed me around. And you just just want everything your way, said James. You're always trying to make things right for me. Well but well, does you realize I'm Soda's number five by Red Engine. And besides, this worry is really silly. I think I prefer from the other countries that I have visited. Oh, so we guess. So Soda and the other countries you visit are silly as well, eh? said Gina. No, they're not, said James crossly. Just because I said doesn't mean. Me all worries are silly, said James crossly. Besides, his animal splendid engine and not so dull more than your your green paintwork. But why you you little I said the one that lost lost in the decorate competition one time, said James. Oh well, excuse me, me to the engine who lost in the trucking contest. There's the two two engines. This made Gina much more, more crosser. And besides, said James, if you burst your safety valve, I forgot to tell you only one, I won't help you. Fine, I don't need help, said Gina. I can get them, them myself. Fine, said James. I suppose you're angry because you're being a silly engine now. This made Gina not the crosser she ever went. She got so red and blow so steam, her safety valve burst. Bang! It went. The two engines stopped. You burst your safety valve, said, said Gina's primary driver. Well, you have to go to the rocket because of that. Right? Huh, said Gina. No, no, you're going to let me done, said Gina quietly. Me, said James, it's your fault for game. Being so angry and all that stuff. Ah, said Gina. Well, forget it. I don't need your help. Fine, said James. I do, I'm not going to help you anyways. Oh, well, said, said the boat crews. I, I suppose we have to wait until we get to the corruption site. Then we can get Gina to the works. Come along, James. Do. Let's get going. Of course, said James. I can pull the string by myself. With the strength of, of, of me with Gina. And for that, James puffed away. Through the whole journey, the two engines didn't speak. But as they were getting closer and closer to the construction site, James
means I can speak up. Okay. There's a few minutes for silence, but the James spoke up. Gina, the side of what happened today. I just really want to find the find the lost engine of this stuff. I even will try to get to the museum all by myself. No, James, said Gina. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for snapping at you and everything. I just don't know what I just don't know what comes to me. I just hate when things like this happens. Same here, said James. And I feel a bit, a bit bad, bad for that, and and you know it's okay if I do make a huff and puff," said said James. James said Gina, "I do not huff and puff." Although, said Gina, it has burst my seat about, so I guess I do do it sometimes. Never mind, said James. At least, at least we can try and make a friendship together. Okay. Are you sure, said Gina? Of course. Do you know, you can argue with my, all my new friends for being a friend again. With pleasure, said Gina. Soon, two engine packs trucks in sight. James, uh, I hear. Oh, Gina. You know making, you know, you know making friends is kind of like your archaeology. And uh, James, for the first time, got correct. How so, James? Said Gina. It can take a long time, but it's worth in the end. Right? Act James. Whatever you say, say James, you're the expert. Said Gina. Soon they arrived at the station. Thank goodness you go by, said Mia. As, as James uncoupled from it, went to the back and buff up Gina as he took Gina to the Italy Three Works. Soon they arrived at the works. James and Copper from Gina, and he puffed up beside her. I hope your stage five gets gets back soon," said James. "Don't worry," said Gina. "It will. I'll tell the other engines you won't make it to the church tonight." "Okay then," said Gina. And James puffed away. Soon, at last, the two engines put their size to difference. But soon, Gina, looking back to work. That day on, James and Gina put their sides sides to difference. But what about the lost engine? Well, that's a story for another day.